a sci-fi deck building roguelike with a dash of FTL into the breach and slay the spire. If that sounds right up your street then check out Earthless. Released as a demo in 2023 with its full release slated for later in 2024, Earthless sees you take control of a generational starship as it begins its voyage across the stars in search of humanity's new home as the Earth's sun dies. Along the way you'll encounter hostile forces and other points of interest granting opportunities to upgrade your ship, its crew and equipment in preparation for the final boss at the end of each map. The game itself plays like most popular deck building games. You start out with a pre-built deck and with each encounter have the chance to add new cards to your deck, with the occasional card upgrade thrown in to spice things up. In combat you have a resource pool of energy which determines how many of your cards can be played each turn with cards covering attack, defense and abilities. Now if this sounds too close to Slay the Spire for comfort for you, don't worry because where this game shines through is through moving your ship around. Throughout each enemy encounter you are dropped into a grid whereby you must move around to get your weapons into range and move once more if you want to avoid taking damage. Whilst enemy attacks are clearly telegraphed, similar to that of Into the Breach, your movement is limited by the heat levels put out by the engines, with each tile movement increasing the heat by one and decreasing it only passively one per turn. Good positioning can be the difference between life and death for those on board. Moving back to the world map, depending on the path we choose we can end up in combat with hostile forces, salvaging ruined ships for repairs or upgrades, intercepting long range communications containing wisdom to upgrade the crew or explore points of interest that can affect the crew's morale and thus upgrade or downgrade their skill sets. Upon reaching the end of the world map you'll encounter a hostile mothership that will take everything you have gathered throughout the map so far to take on. Careful positioning, powerful cards and those crew abilities are all necessary to take this foe down and if you die so does humanity's hopes of survival. Throughout my playthrough of this demo I have made multiple runs, some more successful than others and each time I have been roped in by this seamless experience with it scratching that same addictive itch that I found with both FTL and Slay the Spire. This demo leaves me excited to see how much more fleshed out the game will be once it sees its official release later in 2024. As for my experiences on the Steam Deck the game handles flawlessly with a mouse and keyboard if you have a dock and whilst it doesn't support officially a controller layout the default settings on the Steam Deck takes care of it all for you. So head over to Steam, give the demo a try and wishlist the game if it happens to be your jam. If you're interested in how the game plays check out my previous playthroughs on the channel and while you're about spread some jam on that lovely subscribe button. Until the next video, play casual.